our question. Um, heating up water, starting at 15 degrees, you got three minutes to heat it up, you've got a 200 watt element available. The question is what temperature is the water going to end up at? So we're going to use the formula we used before, except this time we're trying to find out how much the temperature changes by. So we need to rearrange this formula to give us change in temperature is Q divided by MC. That's what we're looking for. So the amount of energy we're going to pump into it is Q, M and C, mass and specific heat capacity. Figure out how much the temperature changes by and add that on to 15. So there's a slight drama here and that I've given you 200 watts, which is not the same as joules. So our energy here has got to be in joules, whereas this is measuring watts. So we've got to change power. So remember, watts is a measure of power. So I've given you power, and we want to change that into uh, energy. So maybe, hopefully, you remember the formula, power is energy over time. If I rearrange that, energy is power times time. So my power is 200 watts times the time is three minutes, which is 180 seconds. Because this has got to be, time here has to be in seconds. It's a standard SI unit thing. So we've got uh, 200 times 180 is 36,000 joules. Okay, so the amount of energy we've got available is 36,000 joules. That's, to run 200 watts for three minutes, you're using 36,000 joules. That's the measure of energy. So then we can stick that into the equation. So Q is 36,000 divided by M, 700 mils, 0.7 of a litre, so 0.7 of a kilogram. Times C, well, it's water again. So push the buttons on the calculator, which I didn't bring with me, and we should be able to work out how much the change in temperature is. Someone's going to be able to do that for me pretty quickly, hopefully. Got an answer, Liam, for this? Yeah, well, this is about 12 degrees? Yeah. It's about 12, 12, give us one decimal place. 12.3? And again, because that's a change in temperature, it doesn't matter whether you're thinking Kelvin or degrees Celsius because the intervals are the same. So given that this was a degree Celsius thing, we'll put that one to degree Celsius as well. So the final temperature is my 15 that we started off with plus the 12 that we're increasing it is 27.3 degrees Celsius. Okay, so it hasn't increased it an awful lot. So a 200 watt element running for three minutes is only going to increase your well, 700 mils is a few cups by a little bit. Levi? The 180? Um, well, the question was where did the 180 come from? Uh, it's time, three minutes in seconds. So three, three lots of 60 seconds. 180 seconds, so time, time must be in seconds. Okay, so the answer is it hasn't really, uh, hasn't increased the temperature an awful lot uh, if you're only going to use a 200 watt element, which is why most kettles and things are measured in kilowatts. You've got uh, one, two kilowatts as a standard thing. So you can boil a cup of tea. You can imagine trying to boil a cup of tea and waiting at that speed. You're going to be there for a while to get it up to, up to speed. 